Under Budget 2016, 1.6 billion ringgit is allocated for the construction of 175,000 affordable homes under Prima. Prima says it needs over 4,300 acres to build these homes, land the government-owned company just does not have. That is why Prima is working together with various private developers to get the best deal. The working with developer is the best. It's, it's, it's a win-win situation. Yeah, they are. I mean, uh, they are the, the players. Uh, they know their local content. They know their local suppliers. So that's how. I, that's how we can get. The, we feel that we can get the best deal. About 84% of Prima's homes are built on property developers' land. We started thinking that we're going to get a huge land bank from federal government, all state, uh, all state. But when we, when we, when it was not, when, when, when uh, what we got was only very little. We decided that if I, ha if I, if I, if I have to wait for the land, I would not have gotten what I showed you already. You understand what I'm saying? Kita beduk masih menunggu lagi. Yeah. So they said we decided. Like we, the only way for us to fast track the program is actually to work with the present developers. They, the, they are the landowner, they are in the business, and the most important thing is that you don't crowd out the industry. I'm not complaining, Kapa. I'm just saying that, like I said, these are challenges. But so far, the last three years, I think uh, by end of the year, we hope we can we can meet the uh, the target, the 240,000 target. Uh, the first three years we target, too, we will be able to meet by end of the year. Then we start afresh looking at the 175,000. Developers who partner with Prima will need to follow Prima's housing guidelines, specifications and target price. Recently, developer Bina Puri might cinch a 230 million ringgit contract to build affordable properties in Plentong, Johor on 7 hectares of freehold land. She and Shannon, The Edge TV.